Welcome to this week's Building Endeavour Mid-Deck Section video. My name's Andy, thanks for joining me. If you do enjoy these videos and you are a subscriber, please remember to smash that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please help me get to a thousand subscribers this year. Welcome aboard and first of all a very happy new year to you all. Thanks for continuing to watch this build. I do hope you're enjoying the series. Now in this episode we're going to continue cladding the outside of the hull here in this beautiful mustard yellow colour. Um, and then we're going to continue doing this top part as well in the sort of the blue colour that was used on my ship. I'm going to use the same colour blue. Um, it was a slightly uh, blue blue, so to speak, compared to what the kit suggested. It was more of a violet blue, the kit. But it was the only paint I had at the time, so I'm just going to stick with it. Um, besides, there's no clear knowledge of which particular blue it was on the original ship anyway. So, as well, I'm going to try and get on with the tables once and for all and the hammocks that suspended as well on this video if I can. So sit back and please enjoy and let's see how far we get in this week's video. Okay so I have already prepared these 100mm lengths of the stained planks here. So we'll get to putting them on. I'm going to use white glue, I'm not going to use CA glue for this. Here we go. Alright, that's all the yellow on this side now, I'll just leave that clamped up to dry. Next we'll do the blue bits at the top, so I need to prepare them next. Alright, I'm ready to paint these now, they have been sanded and smoothed down. I'm going to pa paint directly onto the wood. This is uh, Harbour Blue by this plastic coat company. It's the same colour I used on the Building Endeavour videos for the ship itself, the main ship. Uh, make sure you tune into those by the way if you haven't done so already. So let's get these painted up and let them dry. So let's get on with that next. Okay, I've done those now. It's only necessary to do one side. Uh, when they've been put on I can stain the other side if necessary. Okay, so I'll wait for those to dry and then I'll cut them up and fit them. Okay, so that's all those blue boards on now. I'm just gonna let them dry, and as you can see, I need to trim them up uh, and get them exactly in line with the bulwark here. Uh, there's gonna be a strengthening five by two placed on the inside on both sides. Anyway, I'll let those dry, and I'll do all that lot next. Okay, so those are all dried now. Next, I'm gonna put these five by two mill pieces in here. 
to expand the, the width of the bulwarks there. Just need to uh, uh, cut that and extend the top of it a little bit as well. Similarly here, same thing, cut that to length. Uh, only about half the width of that required and on the other side as well. So let's do that next. All right, so while we're waiting for those to dry, let's start marking out this uh, piece of canvas material and we're gonna construct the hammocks which would have been slung under here. I need to cut them out as per instructions and then fasten ropes to them and then we'll just literally glue them in. So let's do that next. Okay, quick pause in the uh, time lapse. Um, in order to make these arcs that go across here from one point to the other, it's not very clear in the instructions. In fact, it doesn't say what kind of diameter they are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the um, point roughly in the middle, uh, two behind, or two hammocks behind, and then scribe each arc like this. See how this looks. That doesn't seem too bad. So I'll do the same roughly there. And the next one up here. I guess it doesn't have to be too precise. And that way we get the required cut shape. Alright, there they are cut out. I actually only need four, but I've done five as a, an extra practice one. So let's get on with making these next. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I've had a go at the practice one already. But basically we have to make a series of folds at this end. Uh, like this, best I can. We're just going to uh, use a CA glue at the end of it. Ah, it's really fiddly. Let's see if I can. All right. Yep. And now I'm just going to use a bit of CA glue here. Make sure it all stays together. Okay, and I need to do the other three. Uh, I won't put that on video, but it's something like that when it's done. I reckon I can do a better job though on the next ones. Anyway, one hammock for me to go. All right, so before we attach anything inside, let me just finish the outside first. I'm gonna just trim these down, cut these to the same angle as the top here of these uh, bulwarks. Take all that wood that's protruding here down. Yeah, so let's do that next.
Okay, so after a lot of filing and sanding, I've pretty much got those now uh, to the same level as the inner bulwark here on both sides, and I'm quite happy with that. Apart from just this bit here, it's gone a little low, but when the, the um, gun wells put on, uh, eventually it should yeah hide that, hide that crime. Okay, so now we're going to get on. Finally, we've put the details under here, the tables and the um, hammocks. Yeah, let's do that next. Okay, so here are the tables that I'm going to fit. I did remake these. I wasn't very happy with the last ones. The uh, holes didn't drill in very well. These have done much better. So what I need to do using the 0.15 thread is to uh, put a loop. One is 28mm long and the other is so 27 mil and the other is 31 mil uh, they're going to be suspended from one pair from the beam underneath here so this beam here and the other table which goes in between each of these six um, chests here goes actually suspended from the deck itself all right so uh, let's get these threaded up explanation here because the recording previously didn't work but I made some L-shaped formers so I could put the thread from underneath the table over the top to the correct length one being 31 mil the other being 27 Alright, and finally all four tables are put in place. It was a heck of a job to get those to get in there. Um, I found that if I use these little bits of wood just to push them up into position, it's not the most beautiful job, but it did help to get them located okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm happy with that, it's 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 okay. So finally time to position the hammocks. Okay, so these are the hammocks I constructed earlier. Um, I'm going to prepare them. We've got an idea. I'm going to put, I've already done one for an example, uh, four little strands on the end of each, a bit of, bit of white glue on the end there. When that's dry, bunch that up and then connect it to a single rope, which will then attach to the uh, upper parts here, like I've done with the desks or the tables. All right, let's do that next. seems to be quite effective. I'll just do the rest in the same way. Okay, all done. I've just supported them here so that the ropes hang down. They are inverted. So when they're put in place, the ropes will tend to be uh, in a hanging position. Okay, when they're dried, we'll do that next. Now, before I put them in, I'm going to create some little wooden hooks uh, and glue them in position. It's going to be way easier than trying to just glue the thread to the ceiling if you like here when I tried it with these it was a massive pain so I will construct them little tiny hooks here and um, it'll make life a lot easier okay let's do that next okay so that's what I've just made the glue will be put on this top edge here and then the rope will just sling around this bit here. Just a very simple little hook.
Okay, so I've just temporarily slung the hammock here in position, and I can see that I'm going to have to make a loop around about here. Uh, I'll do that for each of them, and then just simply sling them on and fit them with a bit of glue. So let's do that next. Okay, so I'll do the same, same process with the other three and I'll show you how that looks. Alright, so there's all four finally in place. I'm super happy with the way that's turned out as well, so yeah, very pleased. Um, that's it for this week's video. Please remember to smash that like button uh, and I will see you on next week's video. I'm going to start uh, sanding down the hole and other bits and bobs. So until then, have a great week and bye for now.